Well, you've heard of COVID-19 causing patients to lose sense of taste and smell, but now researchers say they're looking into a loss of hearing too. This is being added to a long list of longer term issues like clotting disorder, stroke and cardiovascular problems. Ursula Perry introdu introduces us to one man who woke up hard of hearing after 22 days on a ventilator. I had thought I was sleeping for two years. Michael had clots in his leg, lost function in his shoulders and arms, and had what he describes as static in his ears. Profound hearing loss, too. I can hear a little bit. It sounds like uh, Charlie Brown's teacher is how I always describe it. Uh, you know, you can't make out any words. Dr. Laurie Jacobs is a co-director of the specialized COVID-19 recovery unit at Hackensack University Medical Center. I've seen very few patients, if any, complain of hearing loss, but, you know, we don't know everything about this yet. Since midsummer, a handful of cases of hearing loss have been reported worldwide, according to the International Journal of Audiology. Doctors in the UK say it is possible the virus enters inner ear cells and causes cell death. Dr. Jacobs says it's possible COVID-related hearing loss is being overlooked or underreported. It may be that people don't attribute it to COVID. Everything is on the table. Michael Goldsmith is working hard to get healthy. In fact, with his physical therapist, he ran his first ever 5K on Thanksgiving Day. You're here now, and that's all you have to worry about, and move on from there. Michael wore a temporary device to get some hearing back after COVID. Then he had cochlear implant surgery in September. He got about 50% of his hearing back so far. It'll take up to a year to be at full strength. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.